EA Sports, and the Professional Golfers Association of America proudly present golf's second major of the year. Today, it's live third round coverage of the PGA Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Scotland's Russell Knox is the leader. He currently sits at 12 under par. And that a wonderful tee shot. It's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 139 is the number. Pin smack bang in the middle. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And he'll get it to one under for the round, 10 under for the tournament. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. That's well played, and now a good look at birdie. 14 feet to the hole. Yes, can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par, two under on his round. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Just 97 yards left to the flag stick. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. Well, in all things considered, he's in pretty good shape, coming back up the slope, working slightly to the right. Oh, no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third, and he'll remain one shot back. Maybe not what you're hoping for from that number, but no damage. It's on the green. Down to Iona. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Frank, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Oh, 
Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he's going to remain one shot off the pace. This one moving just a little bit to the right with that wind. That one may get up close to the right edge, but it looks like it's going to hang on. That'll be just fine. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. One hundred five yards left. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Birdie putt now moving to his right. Boy, that seared the left edge, but it didn't want to go in. That one finished off. It is a par here at five. And he'll stay at 11 under par. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Oh, missed the green at the par three. No problem. That is in from off the putting surface for an unlikely two. That will do just fine. We are about 170 yards from the hole. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. 12 feet still to go. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back to back birdies here on this front side. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. So that ball knocked down by the tree. Fortunately, it didn't get it squarely, and this lie should actually be okay. It's been a good start to the round, and more evidence there. Beautiful touch from around the green. 
Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. <laughs> Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to go in the books as a 30 on the front side, five under par. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 112 yards left, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. That was the gap wedge. Just a bit late and gonna miss right. That's Got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand, and a good chance to save par. So that's in for par to start this backside, and he's going to stay too clear of the field. Softly. That's a nice shot. So this has been an absolute clinic, and that nearly the capper with a hole in one, but instead it is just a tap in birdie. Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. Second shot, good look at the green. club more there as it is needs to get up and down to save par with all the elements of his game have been in sync today a terrific shot right there it's all about getting it inside that three foot circle around the hole it was a really nice shot
This is up the right side, going to try and draw its way back. That had to be in the rough the whole way. One more bounce back on the fairway. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Chance now for another birdie. Mmm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. To 16 under par. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. This one, not for the faint of heart. Down a big slope, though it is for birdie. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14. And he's gonna hold on to that three-shot lead. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this Another fine tee shot. Wind coming from his right as he gets set for his second. I like the looks of this one. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And he moves to 17 under par. Well, that's going to make getting to this green into a tall order as that tee shot into the bunker. I like it. I like it a lot. He's going to love it if he can get out of here with the three, and that's a possibility. So after reaching the green in two, this take a full swing with a putter, but it is for Eagle. Will that stop? Yes, that was not easy down the slope, but that's pretty well done. Ah, uh, this round finishing strong. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And he's got it to minus 18.
perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Betty. Now this for another birdie. And all things considered, he's in a pretty good spot. He might move gently to his right as it works back to the slope. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Well, going to be a lengthy putt for birdie, but on a long approach like that, anything on the green is a welcome sight. Yeah, easy to come up short on that one, but that's a decent effort. So a tap in there. That's for par at the last. And this will be, ready for this, a third round score of 61. You can't play much better than that. So it'll be a 54-hole lead, four-hour featured golfer. Even for someone with this much experience in the situation, Frank, it makes for a tough night of sleep, and you've been there. Yeah, experienced players know it can go both ways, so they're a little more realistic with uh, 18 holes to go. You're right. Uh, do they sleep? Do they don't sleep? Um, well... It depends on the individual. But what they do know is tomorrow will be a long, drawn-out day, and they will have to be on top of their game. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on The Road to the Masters.